This video is made possible by 343 Studios. Hey guys, what's going on? Nathan343 here. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done some really uh, final reviews, so I thought the next week or so you guys are going to be seeing much more final reviews so I can get caught up before we get new products in. So, we're going to do the final review on these uh, 230 watt um, Ridgeyard moving heads. So I've had some questions and I want to go uh, over those so you guys know what you're looking at. Right now they're sitting on top of a road case. Uh, this is actually not the road case for this, for these units. Uh, it said they were online. Come to find out these are for like the smaller intimidators that Chauvet has. Uh, I will link the correct um, road case in the link if you guys want to go pick up a, an actual road case for these. But I custom made this one to fit these, so it worked out. But uh, so we're running off of wireless DMX. The controller is probably about 20, 25 feet away. Uh, wireless wise, uh, they run good. There's no problem with wireless. Actually, I'm going to turn the light on. Uh, there is several different patterns you guys can choose from. This is actually a setup that I have made um, for weddings that I set up on my totems. It kind of does little dots and spins really slow, so it's really good for dinner or you know just to have like a mood setting type of deal. But when you get in a bigger room, the circles get really big. Um, so it's got auto. Uh, Master Slave, which uh, I have you run it in before, but they each have a DMX wireless con or receiver in them, and they're all running off DMX channel 1. Uh, they are inverted. They do have revert pan and tilt, so you can't invert them, so they're not exactly all going the same way. Uh, you can trust mount them, although I haven't because my trust is not rated for the weight of these things. Uh, they weigh... They're pretty good. They weigh probably at least 50, 60 pounds a piece. Um, but so far we've used these see, one, two, three, four, five times at different events. And this makes a six using them here for this video. And uh, never had a problem. Flip the switch. They've got a little warm up time to do. Uh, they do a little rotating thing. And normally if the wireless is plugged into the back, they go right to what they're supposed to do. Never had a problem. The fans are a little loud. That's the only thing about these. But at least I know it's staying cool. Uh, there is quite a bit of heat coming off these. I haven't had any problems with the bulbs. Uh, if I do, I'll let you know. But I think these are a 100,000 or 150,000 hour halogen bulb is what I've read into. So we shouldn't have any problems with the bulbs for several years. Considering I don't use these, but maybe five to eight hours. Um, every couple of weeks so just depending on how busy I am uh, it does have the lockable uh, deals that you slide across and it will lock it from moving it has the head locker on it which is really nice for transport so you don't have to worry about them spinning and clanging and bouncing around in there uh, the top ones they don't seem they'll lock but if you just barely touch them they will unlock so that's something that probably could be worked on is the locking mechanism could be made to actually lock a little better um, the buttons are easy to push. I don't have any problem pushing them. You don't have to really push them to get them to work. You probably touch them. Uh, the touch screen, never had a problem with the touch screen. Um, in auto modes, these things go nuts in auto modes, which I'm going to show you. Um, sound active works great if you really, I mean, it'll go one way and face and do a bunch of different things. And then spin around and go to the other direction and do a bunch of different things. It doesn't really constantly move like a sound active unit should. So if you're going to use these, I would prefer using them with DMX programming. Maybe Chave Show Express, um, the ADJ Bridge uh, thing that they have out there. It would probably work perfect with those. Um, again, we did have broken covers whenever we received these. That wasn't the uh, manufacturer's fault. That was FedEx that we had a problem with. So those got fixed. 
uh, and the stickers were transferable. I haven't had any problem with those at all. It's a pretty simple fix. Uh, gear wise, everything seems to be working. Um, but like I said, uh, one of the questions was, can I use this in sound active or an auto show? You can, but as you're going to find out here in a few, the auto shows on these are not that great. You see these on big shows. You remember on the old TV show, uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? They had those on the ceiling and they would pan down at Regis Philbin. Well, that's what these were, just an older version of it. Um, another thing with the fans, it has a lot of them. And that is nice, yet they're loud. So you've got a fan here, a small one, a bigger fan here. Uh, you've got a fan underneath, so there's two big fans inside the head. There's uh, two fans in the base, uh, and they blow out, they suck you in basically here on the sides, and then they, they, or they suck here on the side and they blow out the other side. So there's constant air going through this, but the one that is mostly the loudest is the one in the, the head itself. So if, if you got loud music, you're not going to hear them. Um, the lens, uh, there is a lens cleaner you can get, basically the same thing you'd use for a camera. You can get those and keep your lens clean. It will make the picture better. Um, there is different things. If you want to use these for spotlights, there are different settings on here. You can set this up to, you don't even have to have a controller. You can go up, hit a button, and spotlight, wash, uh, beam. That's another good thing about it. If you want to use them for wash lights for a dance floor, and you don't need these prism deals, you could also set up another controller or another channel to do the wash, flip it over, and it will do um, just a big old color wash on the floor. So there is, uh, the gobo wheel is metal. I have had these apart and looked. Uh, the gobo wheel is metal. The color wheel is plastic, but it's like a, a gel type color wheel. So I don't feel like those will crack or break or fade color in time, but we'll see. If I notice any of that, I will let you guys know. Uh, these retail for... I want to say four to five hundred dollars a piece. I'm not quite for sure on that. Link for these will be in the description. I know prices probably change on these. I've seen them cheaper. I've seen them expensiver. Uh, there is different styles. You can get these with like blue. These will have a blue ring. This will be orange or something. The handle will be orange. That's another thing. It does come with handles, but the way this case is, they don't fit with the handles on it. You're supposed to be able to flip this upside down and put it down in the case. The case that's actually made for these, you can and leave the handles on it. Although, when they're sitting on totems, I think they look a heck of a lot better with the handles off. So, um, I like the red and white when it combines red and white together, like it is doing there. That looks really cool. Um, but yeah, most of the time I just leave these, these programs on the controller. I go to a venue and most of the time this works for what I'm needing. I can speed it up a little bit, I can slow it down the times. Um, it does really good together. I really, really like them. Um, so on a scale of one to 10, what do I rate this as? I give it probably, um, I give it a good eight out of one to 10. Uh, it would have a 10 if it had some really good auto features on it and sound active features so where it would pan and do better things which I'm going to show you here towards the end of the video the auto features and the uh, sound active features that it, it just doesn't seem to they're too fast and I don't think it would be very cool at a show to use those patterns um, could I see people using these at a church Actually, I had a, when I got these, I had a guy uh, from that goes to a church here in town contacted me. They were wanting to use them for their stage when they do plays for spotlighting. They said we could save having to rent a spotlight for our Christmas plays and Easter plays. I said, yeah, you could mount them to a big I-beam up on the ceiling, DMX them, you know, wire it all the way down, run a wire down the inside of the wall, and control them from a, a controller outside. You could do a touch screen controller, you could do a um, analog controller like I have, which I like the analog controllers, they're so much easier to learn, but yeah, I think they're very cool lights, if you keep them clean, 
Uh, don't drop them. Don't mistreat them. They're going to last you a very long time. Uh, they're very nice. So Ridge Yard, good job. Uh, Star-wise, I'd give it four out of five stars. Uh, being that if it had better auto shows and sound active shows, it would have five out of five. So uh, Ridge Yard, maybe you guys can update your uh, programming there. I'm sure it's just in the programming software that's built into the unit. Uh, but another thing, when these do get warmed up, you can feel the heat coming off these. So make sure that when you set them up, you're in a well-ventilated area that they're getting enough air to um, use. These would probably be good for Christmas parties. You could do Christmas deal. I think there's a snowflake on here that you could do. Um, it, it has basically prisms, what I'm running now, but it's running in a circle. So it's a circle prism, but it's different. So let's go ahead, disconnect these from the DMX wireless receiver, which I'll show you on the back side of those, how those look and how they're running off of it. I do recommend, if you're going to use these, they do come with only about a five to six foot um, power con cable. I recommend you go online and get a longer power con. We actually have 25 feet power cons running to these right now. Uh, they're just coiled up there on the floor, but they're very simple. Uh, I think they're anywhere between 25 to 40 bucks, depending on what's gauge. I've got a 10 gauge and a 12 gauge cable. Um, a buddy of mine had a 10 gauge and I bought a 12 gauge offline. So um, it just makes it that much easier when you're hooking it up on a totem. You don't have a little cable and an extension cord. Sometimes 25 foot is all you need to get to a plug. Um, these do pull wattage wise. I don't, I need to get a watt a tester so I know how many watts my lights are pulling so I can also put that and I want to get a lumen tester to figure out how many lumens uh, how bright these are so that's something coming soon that I can start telling you guys how bright they are which is brighter and all that good stuff but let's go ahead and show you guys the back and then we will uh, set these in auto show and show you how crazy they are so here it is going through it's different now it does have a warm white and a cool white in it too depending on which type of white you're using so that is pretty cool different greens there's a orange I do have it set into wash instead of uh, wash instead of the beam effect There's one of the whites, and it should go into the warm white. There's, that's almost like a black light. You could probably get away with using that for a black light. And it goes back into the white. And there's the warm white. So it looks kind of yellow on screen, but that is a warm white. All right, guys, so here is the auto show again strobe warning <laughs> so yeah they do I mean okay catch this thing doing a gobo over there see it strobes it just it goes nuts so it goes really fast through all the patterns all the gobos they're shining at each other now <laughs> Really cool, and so is the green. The green looks really cool. But if that's something you like to have these things going nuts, then that's awesome. You can do that. There's the green. The lime green. That's the cool thing about the colors is there's different shades of the same color. Like white has two colors, green has two colors, blue has a light blue and a dark blue. Uh, red has kind of a pink and then a red. spinning in very fast but it gets so yeah 
But all you have to do to set it to the auto mode Screensaver is off, so you can actually um, turn these off. Oh, which I'm actually going to activate those. It'll help with the screen. Uh, you got your. Uh, it says burn on startup. That's just the boot up and load effect deal. Then you return. So, it also has a time on here. It tells you how long these have been running. This one's been running 35 minutes, 26 seconds. There's also a feature in here that will tell you um, what uh, the temperature is of the bulb and how what the temperature of the unit is. I can't remember where the setting is, but I know it's in there. It's either in manual or factory settings. I think it's in factory. So yeah, very cool light. If you guys are looking for uh, some 230 watt beam prisms that have focus and all different kinds of settings that weigh about 60 pounds probably then these are the ones for you um, so this is the first big moving head that I have I am trying to get some Chave intimidators the new ones so we can show those off because if these things had totem mode that would be awesome but so yeah so thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, and join the 343 crew. That's right. You can join the membership to the channel now and become a member. Uh, there's different levels you can join, so go check those out. Link in the description, and uh, have a good, safe 4th of July, everyone, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.